to cut in or not to cut in? That is the question in today's video. Hi guys, my name is Darren and this is another video in the Airlist Tips Q&A series brought to you by Airlist Discounter. Today we're going to be quick and fast with a question which is do you need to cut in when using an Airlist sprayer? And the short answer is no. Why are you cutting in in the first place? Well, if you're using the traditional paint and roller, uh, most of the rollers, if they're larger, cannot get right into the corner. And so you would use uh, a paintbrush and cut in close to the trimming in order to make sure that uh, you're painting correctly there. Uh, however, using an Ellis sprayer, and this is actually one of the benefits of using an Ellis sprayer over the traditional uh, painting and rolling technique, is that you're able to as long as you've uh, covered and prepared the wall properly, you can just uh, spray right over close to the trimmings and that's it, you're done. You don't have to worry about cutting in. So there you go. Do you need to cut in with an Ella sprayer? No. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And as always, have a great spray.